I'm <laughs> Hi, I'm Merrick Tomato. I'm Leaky Culture. And welcome back to Mindbreakers. Happy Halloween! Yes, the third one. Well, Finally. happy. Today we have to watch The Crow 3 or The Crow Salvation. Because any <laughs> film with the subtitle Salvation has ever been good. Yes. Um, Alex Corvus returns to, to the prisoner. world of the living to solve the murder of a young woman that was wrongful, that, that he was wrongfully accused of. Yep. He is a prisoner, I remember, in this one, and it has Kirsten Dunst in it. Mary, yep, Mary Jane Watson. And uh, we're going to be in for a I think show. this is better or worse than Small Soldiers? Worse. I think this is better or worse than Spider-Man 3? Uh, that's a very good question. I will give you the answer of that after. <laughs> I mean, I have no one to blame for this but myself. This is my idea. So. We have all of ourselves to blame for this. Me included, because I had the idea to do all of these crow movies. Wait, 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 wait. Gio, are you yes. telling me that this was your fault? Oh, uh, wait, wait, I didn't mean that. You bastard! I'm hot! I want to be with you forever. Only forever? Come on! No! The crow legacy continues. When a young man is wrongfully accused of murder. Alexander Frederick Corvus, do you have any last words? I loved Lauren. I'm innocent. Now, with the guidance of the Crow, he sets out to find the killer. Where did you come from? I'll make sure everyone knows that you're innocent. That you loved her. What do you want? I want to know why. I can't be alive. Not without you. Eric Mabius. Kirsten Dunst. The Crow. Salvation. 53 stab wounds in her chest. 53 stab wounds <laughs> in her chest. 53 stab wounds <laughs> in her chest. That's a callback. <laughs> <laughs> Zigzag scars on his arm. I'm gonna say now, <laughs> this movie, especially after watching the second one, yeah, yeah, it's actually to chase pretty and look good. For, it's actually a pretty yeah, good film, honestly. Compared, yeah, it's not as okay. It's it's between the Crow One and the Crow Three. Yeah, Crow it has two. a good story to it. It's got okay, like okay, so it, the kills it's got aren't some okay kills. It doesn't have shitty wiggly camera. Yeah, the 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 signs, the crow signs that he leaves behind are, are actually just coincidence for the most part. Are they actually he painted, the one... or he actually painted them himself intentionally? Yeah, as opposed to oh, the blood just bleeds into a crow. Yeah, well, because... then again, the blood did like bleed onto that piece of paper, but it got folded in half and turned mm. into a crow. So that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like if a symbol. Is re- like a crow symbol is related at all to something's story and it's like suspicious and blah blah blah. I think that inspires the crow mm. to like sort of awaken. I think that's like the kind of general idea, at least, that people are running with for the most part here. So, the first thing the we series. see is a guy is taxiderming a crow. Yeah, we don't know who he is, but we know that on his forearm. Or is like a herringbone pattern of uh, scars. Yeah, this this image of him like straight up like dissecting this thing is like very similar to the direction the series is taking. <laughs> oh, it's it's not very fun to watch. Then we um, we cut to there's a a group of people gathered around a place where man's can, Alex Corvus is going to be executed at twenty one for the murder of his girlfriend with fifty three yep. stab wounds. <laughs> He's in the electric chair. They electrocute him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the f- the father and sister of the victim are there. Yep. The sister is Kirsten Dunst, Mary Jane Watson. <laughs> yes. And so he dies, and that's the movie. <laughs> that's that's the that's the pre- he, that's okay. the setup at least for it. He does remember he the whole was thing. wrongfully accused, and he remembers he was set up, and someone with a with scars on his arms, is it, responsible. It's like piece of metal that he like implanted into his arm. Yeah, and he ends up like it. It looks like a scar, 
But it's not. It's just little pieces of metal arranged in a certain pattern. In like a little like yeah. uh, one, two, one, two, one, two pattern. Yeah, herringbone. Yeah, basically. And he, it just ends up, it just becomes like, uh, it becomes like the sole plot point, basically. Like the one thing he's chasing for the most part. But they call it, like, they always call it zigzag scars. It's like, it's not scars, though. Yeah, or zigzag. Yeah. Still. Nope. So he, he he says that no one believes him, so he, well, he's electrocuted. Yeah. And then he comes, the crow thing happens. He co- he wakes up out of the morgue, mm-hmm. peels the burnt flesh off his face. Yeah, because he's actually straight up burnt. And, and then here comes the dumbest thing about the movie. Yeah. The crow makeup now, the, around the eyes it's and mouth, is scars. He does paint them with some black after. A little. But they're they're scarred, they're burned into his face. Yeah. It's, uh, for the most part. It's like it's like permanent makeup. Like, yeah. Like tattooed to the face. Like scarification. Yeah. And it's like, eh, it's an interesting idea, but still, I don't get it. It's like, why is he also the, spends why is the, the crow ent- just doing this to people now? He also spends the entire movie in the prison jumpsuit. Yeah. Dark gray prison jumpsuit. Uh, until the end where he's like, switches out yeah. to the tank top. And gets he doesn't switch, I just, get, he gets shot a lot in the... Yeah, and he ends up just taking to, off the, yeah. like, the top part, basically. So but, he uh, find he breaks into evidence and he finds a list of... The people who testified against him. Yeah. Oh, his coat's nice, by the way. He doesn't get the coat yet, though. Yeah, no, still his coat is nice. It's not leather for once, which is refreshing. Yep. So, uh, yeah, he ends up getting electrocuted, comes back, uh, like, gets out of uh, the morgue. And goes to the first, he goes to the evidence, gets a list of people who testified, and goes to the first yeah. witness. The crow, the crow's leading him the whole way there, by the way. Interestingly. He ends wi- up, like, running away from the cops. Interestingly, the, the witness. Yeah. Doesn't get killed by the crow, which is a first. Yeah. The crow doesn't do anything bad to him this time. Yeah, he gets thrown out of a fucking window, though. Still. Later. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, I got let off the hook this time. Boom! Gets thrown out a fucking window. <laughs> he so he gets the names of some cops and where they hang out. Yeah, he gets a convenient little list, which I hate. This fucking list. This list is like the biggest piss off for me. It's just like conveniently all four of their names just there. Mm. It's like, oh, what 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 was it like? They couldn't put the whole like it's not the whole precinct that's doing this. So oh. clearly. So why the fuck is it only them four's names? Like it's not like they're under investigation or anything. So we get the So what the fuck? We get the first cop which is gonna be taken down. Uh yeah, this and one's like the pervert, the big pervert. Because he All pulls of them over have perverts. He pulls over two teenage girls in a car. Yeah. License and registration thing, and then he starts feeling them up. Yep. And he's gonna rape one, but then the crow shows up. Yeah. Kicks the shit out of him. Uh-huh. And they're trying. He's trying to get information about who actually killed her and where the guy with the scar is, but no one will admit that that's real. Yep. How does he kill this one? Uh, he ends up shooting him in the head, just straight up. Does he? Yeah, he just shot him in the head. Oh. He like pulls his gun out, like spins him, basically puts a gun to his head, and like just shoots him. Oh, okay. I forget what he says to him before he kills him, though. He, he opens up the fight, though, with, uh, with, I want you to bend over, Officer Dutton. Yes. <laughs> that, that was, that was kind of funny, because, like, he tells that to the girl as, uh, he pulls her out of the car, which is uh, creepy. There are some really confusing scenes that are interspersed with the movie with him playing chess with what might be his brother. Yeah. And they're going over what they know of the case. Those aren't important, so we're not going to talk about them. Uh-huh. The next pl- next we see a uh, we see a strip club where they all the co- where the cops they run it. Yep. And they're filming stuff, putting it on the on the two thousands internet. Uh, they're printing money, doing <laughs> making earlier drugs. than two thousands, I think. Fuck man, no, this is made in the like... year two thousand. Okay, but like still the computer. The looks year two thousand. Yeah, but like the computer looked older than. Yeah. It looked older than that. Yeah, it looks like the computer I had in two thousand. I guess. That I played Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on. No, this this thing looked this thing looked older than that. It was running like some weird fucking OS. Yeah. I don't remember exactly, but still, it it was running it was running fake movie dot OS. Ah, uh, okay. 
So, um, anyways, yeah, they, yeah, they're, like, filming a bunch of, like, the little private rooms where, like, the girls are doing stuff. Yeah. And, uh, they're fucking counting, like, counterfeiting money in the back, uh, fucking doing a whole bunch of bad shit. And one of the, co- uh, one of the guys comes up the stairs. Yes. Pointing his gun and screams, freeze police. <laughs> and they all freak the fuck out. We've all done this. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, uh, at least one of them has a sense of humor. I mean, you've done that at, at my house, but the thing I've is, done it I... To multiple people. You've done it at my house, but the thing is, I know I'm not doing anything illegal, so I'm like, okay? Yeah. And also, I know, you can't keep a straight face when you're doing it, because no, you're, these guys, Geo, every right. time you you giggle, you do the Geo giggle beforehand. Not <laughs> always. always. Not always. And I do that to, like, you know... I don't entirely, I don't give someone a straight up heart attack as I just, if I just ran into someone, if I went full on with it, kicked in the door, fucking screaming and everything, people would freak the fuck out. If you kicked in my door, Gio, I'd make you pave to get a new one. I know. <laughs> so, but yeah, this guy, this guy is like literally doing bad shit with his cop friends and I'm surprised his cop friends don't go, oh, ha. <laughs> one, of, uh, one of them gets taken by the crow. Yeah. And basically crashed into a building. Yeah. He uh he gets uh he goes on this little joyride with him in uh in this car, it's a living dead girl. It's a nice uh it's a nice sports car apparently mm. got bought by uh the chief. Oh no, but by the corrupt daughter of the corrupt father of the victim. Yeah, there you Turns go. out the vi- the dad had something to do with it. Yeah. He was paying them off, but he does eventually kill himself. Yep. There's some it's, kind uh, of Kirsten Dunst's father. Yeah, there's that. some kind of romance between Alex and Kirsten Dunst. We're not going to talk about that because it's not really important. Well, like Alex's girl, it's it's Alex. Alex's girl, girl, girlfriend, Lauren. The girlfriend. Girlfriend, His girlfriend, Lauren's sister. Yes. No help from girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. She has like uh, her dad has something to do with it. He ends up shooting himself in a fucking bathtub later. Yeah. Like because he's the one that he doesn't get to like kill. He's he's just like he's the one that like yeah. him and the witness basically are like the two. Then the, the he just goes into an ad, uh, uh, the an attic where they're hanging out. Yep. He throws a pipe through one of them, like throws a javelin through one of their chests, and it's awesome. Yeah, that was fucking <laughs> sick. It's like after this sick ass joyride with the fucking cop to fucking living. Dead oh, girl. and this is he also steals a coat around this time. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. This is like Officer Elric. Yeah, he steals like the coat that. from the car. Yeah, he ends up like going on the joyride and stealing the coat from Officer Elric after he does the wild chase with the to living dead girl. Uh, we establish also that like he doesn't look very good with the short hair. No. Nah. Yeah, it's he. He has the shortest hair for any of the crows. Yeah, and it definitely doesn't suit him. But uh, anyway, he uh, yeah, he ends up throwing a fucking javelin through the guy, kills a whole fucking police line, like a, a entire firing squad, basically. Yep. It's pretty fucking sick, actually. Then he's, um... Oh, yeah, they <laughs> they say the company's name is, like, Dirt. Then he blows up the building he's in. Yeah. He blows up? He saw, the he's he's blown up a lot of buildings. Well, there's a lot of explosions. Yes. He, um... Which tears up the top... Like, slashes up his uh, shirt, so he's wearing a sweater that yeah. he had under the jumpsuit. Yep. And he doesn't have the coat anymore. Mm-hmm. Then he goes to the chief, and the chief basically sta- stabs him, al- stabs and shoots him a lot. Yeah. Oh, uh... And then they're sewing Chris- uh, Kristen Dunst's mouth shut. Yeah. Oh, because her, her daddy her daddy committed Sudoku. Yes. <laughs> he submitted Sudoku. He, he was done with the puzzle, so he just submitted his Sudoku. That's what you do when you're done, right? Right. You submit your Sudoku because no one ever, no one ever completes Sudoku. <laughs> so when on the rare occasion people do complete Sudoku, they commit Seppuku. <laughs> they commit Sonico <laughs> from the ring. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Uh oh yeah the the girl that ended up dying basically like she witnessed uh all of uh, yeah, her dad's cop buddies fucking yeah committing bad shit they she she watched them like I think shoot another guy in the head or something yeah and yeah. then she shoots one in the foot it's weird yeah so the 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 police chief tries to trick him into thinking he was uh 
Like, he, you're wrong. You killed her. You're just fucking insane, dude. It's like... You've been brought back from the dead for the wrong reason. Yeah, like, he knows... He knows he's not telling the truth. I mean, it would have been an interesting direction, like, a really cool direction to take the film in if yeah. it was... That this time around, what the crow wrong? is wrong. Yeah, exactly. What if you're wrong? Maybe maybe we're somewhat to blame, but you're the most to blame for it. Like, yeah, we're, we are corrupt. I'm admitting that. But, dude, you are the one who killed your girlfriend. That would know, be a very interesting end. I don't know what your brain's been telling you, but sorry, you, you're guilty, dude. Yeah, he had an argument with her because she was basically freaking out about the witnessing mm. of the thing. And, uh, yeah, that's the whole so, reason she sort of, like, got away from him and they thought he, that he killed her. But, honestly, like, it would be an interesting twist. They kill the woman who sewed up Kirsten Dunst's mouth, they throw her onto deer antlers. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, she was painting her nails and, like, she's, like Kirsten Dunst just has her mouth shut. Mm. Like, sewn shut. Um, <laughs> and then the crow finally, like, gets in and, like, saves her. Oh, yeah, he saves the stripper earlier. I forgot to mention yeah. that. When he goes into uh, their club. Yeah. Shuts it down. He frees, like, an underage stripper, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one guy goes, when he goes to save her, though, he goes, like, uh, one guy's like, I'll kill her. He goes, no. <laughs> He's just, like... Fucking, and like, then the they, most, they take like, the police monotone. chief, they strap him to the electric chair, and they kill him. Yep. And but the, the Alex is like, you, they say that electrocution is a painless death. They're wrong. It hurts a lot. <laughs> it's like I know for a fact. I woke up looking like fucking Wade Wilson. <laughs> you he, he looked like an avocado. Hate fucked an older, <laughs> uglier avocado. <laughs> But then he just peeled it away yeah. and revealed the little makeup thingy, the yeah. little permanent scarification. So then he moves on with his life, and Kirsten Dunst is in the same graveyard. Yeah, because he's killed all the crooked cops. Yeah. You, 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 you might not realize, but Joe's making a joke about the word cop. <laughs> cop. Pe- <laughs> fucking Peckinpah. <laughs> the Crow 3 directed by Sam Peckinpah. <laughs> So, it would make a much better movie, especially because it's like yeah. a cop, like a dirty cop drama. It's not as, I don't know if I'd like it as much if we hadn't just seen The Crow 2. Yeah. I think that Pepper, like, you know, this isn't great, but it's not The Crow 2. Yeah. So. But, but like sprinkled in there, that little peck and paw, mm. like style. Would make this movie so, I, so much I kinda cooler. I kind of like this one. Yeah, this one's, but it's not. It's not as interesting as like. It's not. Well, yeah, it's definitely as okay, not over the top as the first two. I'm as not as interesting as the first one, but I mean, you're never gonna be as interesting as the first one. Yeah, but if it's you're just way more the, toned down than even the second if one. If you're just also. doing the same thing again, you're never gonna be as interesting as the original. Yeah, but it's way more toned down than both. I did like how it wasn't just a guy avenging his. Uh, his murder and the murder of a loved one. He's aven- He's trying to solve an actual crime. Yeah, but none of the cops that have a... that much more character than any of the bad yeah. guys in the first yeah. or second, even. I did like how the... by the, the if they like, would have had a little more I like the chief's there. random taxidermy. Yeah. You know, by the way, it turns out he's the guy with the scar on his arm. Yeah, and he's creepy and, and they everything, all, and he's and weird. somehow they, uh, like... Make his arm kind of they like up. burst they, like yeah like as he catches fire open yeah as he's electrocuting and, and then, then he catches fire because yep. I guess yeah because like his blood just like bubbles up and the and scars he, open th- and he says I'll be back I'll be back <laughs> just like <laughs> you a, a big, big shit, shit fucking spewing shit bird. spewing bird <laughs> a big fucking shit spewing bird I do remember. Because I was a lot... I mean, obviously, we were both around in 2000. I remember I actually saw some people dressed as this version of the crow. Fucking for real? Yeah. on, ha- on in, the, in, in the year 2000, the Halloween. Shit, man. I mean, I didn't know what it was, because, I mean, I was seven. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's a weird vampire ghost. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you're, you're like maybe a quarter right there, the ghost part? <laughs> so uh, Not even, like, maybe like... Five percent, right? I don't know what to rank this movie, frankly. I'm gonna give it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it what it deserves. I'm gonna give it three big fucking shit spewing birds. I'm gonna give it four and a half 
No, there wasn't really anything that memorable in this movie to <laughs> give it, frankly. Out of five crooked cops. I'm going to give it four and a half scars. There was men. five of them, right? I'm going to give it, yeah, four and a half men with scars. Four and a half men with scars? Yes. <laughs> he just lost his arm. No, 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 because you got, you got, you got four, three guys with, you got four guys with scars, then you have Tyrion Lannister. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> but with also scars. <laughs> so, um. I'm, I'm going to give it, wait, no, even better? Yeah. Yeah? Fuck, I forgot what I was yeah, going to say. Fuck. Well, I've been Merrick D'Amato. And, uh, oh, I, uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be the living dead girl. And we'll see you all next time. Happy Bye. Halloween. Bye, guys.